So far we have developed an application with only one activity. In this lesson, let's develop a simple app to learn how to work with multiple activities. Create an empty project. Specify your project name. After the project is created, you first need to make the Gradle extension settings. Sync the extension after adding it. Let's create a new activity. Select an empty activity as in the first activity. The code and design part of our second activity has been added to our project file. Add a text to the design section of our first activity. Set your name, size, and alignment. Add a button to go to the second activity. Set the name of the button. Set name to use on click property. In the second activity, we will use the same objects while designing. You can copy paste. Replace the name of the text you copied with the second activity. Change the text of the button and its on click name to go to the first activity. Our first stage design has been completed. Let's start coding our project. In the code section of the first activity, let's use the onClick property of the button we created to go to the second activity. For this, create a function in the code part of the first activity. It gives an error because the view file is not in our project. Mouse click on view and press Alt and Enter simultaneously and import. In the design part of the first activity, add the name of the onClick property to the function. Use the intent method to go to the second activity when the button is pressed. Call the intent method we created. For data saving, end the first activity while going to the second activity. We will do the same method in the second activity as we did in the first activity. Create a return function. Add the onCreate name of the button you created in the second activity design to the function. Create a variable using the intent property. Indicate that you are going to the first activity. Start the intent feature. End the second activity when we go to the first activity for data saving. Run the program and check the activity visits using the buttons. Let's transfer data between activities. Let's add two plain texts to the design of our first activity to get the name and surname from the user. Delete the plain texter's names and use the hint feature to keep it handy. Specify the ID to access the texts. Don't forget to press the Infer Constraints button after the design of the first activity is finished. Create two variables and save the name and surname we want from the user in the variables. Send it to second activity with keyword and variable using put extra method. In the second activity, create the intent variable. Save to variables in the second activity using first and last name keywords. We will replace the text of the second activity with the first and last name we get from the user using the ID. Run the program, enter any name and surname you want in the text boxes, and go to the second activity. In the second activity you will see the first and last name. You can improve yourself by designing projects from different activities. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts to see the posts about computer programming.